Hi everyone, Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's video is going to be about um, a new uh, individual ingredient that Z Natural Foods has recently added to its line. Um, it is a food-derived natural sweetener called allulose. But before I get into this video, you know what I gotta do. Medical disclaimer time, so don't change the channel. The information you're about to receive is for educational purposes only and is not intended to treat, prescribe, or diagnose any specific medical condition. It is also never, never, never to be used as a substitute for your primary health care provider's diagnosis, treatment, or medical information. With that said, let's get it on. Okay, so <clears throat> I think it's really important to start this video by giving you a little understanding about how Z Natural Foods tends to pick the, the, the ingredients that it sells to or adds to its line, okay? Z Natural Foods handpicks specific individual ingredients for customers based on three specific concepts. Uh, to provide the best quality uh, product uh, for supporting optimal well-being, okay? Number one is versatility. When I speak of versatility, I'm speaking about how well it works with other ingredients and what is the potential ability that will support the effectiveness of those other ingredients that it's added to. Number two is a history of safe and effective usage. And number three, strong evidence of positive research outcomes in human beings, okay? Now, for this specific video, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to give you a general overview of different things that are really interesting about allulose that you might find very educational, okay? So, um, first, there is some very strong preliminary evidence that uh, supports that allulose is, has great potential for supporting healthy blood sugar levels, okay? And there is other evidence and research that has concluded that um, allulose has, has no adverse negative effects on overall brain health. Now, let's remember, there's plenty of evidence that talks about sugar like fructose and sucralose and things like that that are what you would call isolated uh, sugars. Um, and they, there's plenty of evidence that talks about the negative effects that they have on your blood sugar level and on overall brain health and wellness and your emotional state of wellness as well. So I do want to be very clear about something. What I just stated, which was it has no adverse effects on overall brain health, which is what that one specific study that was cited in the product description talks about, it's very important to understand it's not the same thing as saying that it has positive brain health effects, okay? The only thing that we know so far is that it does not potentially have any negative effects on overall general brain health, okay? Next, allulose is considered a fairly rare sugar, okay, because it is found only in small quantities in plant foods such as maple syrup, wheat, and dried fruits like figs and raisins, all right? Allulose is about 70% as sweet uh, as sucrose, which is also known as regular table sugar, and only contains about 10% of the calories. So if you're looking for more of a bang for your buck for caloric intake and not all the negative effects of table sugar, this might be something you, wanna, you might wanna consider, okay? Um, allulose is rapidly absorbed by the human body and, and is exc excreted intact, which is a very interesting fact about it because of its, 
of the evidence that's been shown that it does not have a negative effect on blood sugar or insulin levels, okay? <clears throat> About 70% of aloes uh, that, that an individual consumes is absorbed by the small intestines and eventually leaves the body via the urine within about the first 24 hours of consumption, okay? The approximate remaining 30% uh, leaves the body through the large intestines, usually within a full 48 hours, okay? <clears throat> Currently, allulose uh, on the market is added to foods such as syrups, cereals, snacks, huh, say that five times fast, um, baked goods, candy, and ice cream, which has uh, given quite a boom to the low-carb and ketogenic lifestyle um, market because this has been a big tool in that particular market in order to allow people to be able to eat certain foods that they might have not been able to eat prior, okay? Being on a low-carb or ketogenic diet, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, because for mass production, Allos is um, also derived from corn. It is essential to look for a non-GMO product when buying your, al your, your al allulose, okay? Um, its chemical formula is the same as fructose and glucose, but um, allulose's physiological impact differs from traditional sugars, which is what I was just referring to when it comes to blood sugar health and brain health, and remember, that all comes down to the important information I mentioned about how it works in the gastrointestinal tract, okay? <clears throat> it's, it's because it's such a GI efficient food and the body utilizes it um, the way it does is why it has a very different physiological effect on the human body than let's say regular table sugar would, okay? Because of all of these differences, the, U, the US FDA has decided that allulose can be counted towards grams of total carbohydrates on a nutritional facts label instead of total sugars or added sugars because of the difference of effect in the human body, okay? Now, this list of great information I've given you, this is all wonderful, but the real question that we should be asking ourselves is, what the hell does all this mean, okay? So, I'm gonna answer that for you right now. While we're still learning about this food-derived natural sweetener, the effects from daily consumption show that allulose is generally well-tolerated and has excellent potential for many food applications, okay? While more research is needed, based on the analysis I gave you up to this point, there is solid preliminary evidence that allulose is, safe and effect, is a safe and effective food that may support healthy blood sugar levels and have no adverse effects on overall brain health. Um, a daily amount of five to 15 grams per day for up to 12 weeks has been shown as generally safe and effective with no adverse effects. Now, I want you to focus on the word generally, because remember, we are all individuals, and it's important to understand that while this is what the preliminary research has shown when it comes to amounts and time frame, you as an individual should always start at the lowest amount and slowly work your way up if you feel the need to do so, and you must look at how it makes you feel and how well you do with the food, okay? So I hope today was an educational video for you folks. If you have any questions, you may always call Z Natural Foods, and if you are looking for more of my great herbal medicine information, you can always go to my YouTube channel at A Master Herbalist's Perspective. Until next time, this is Mike Stuchier, Master Herbalist with Z Natural Foods, signing out.